From Journey Valley in North Fort Worth, Texas, this is Flow Sports powered by Vipe Live. Ethan Herrera with our broadcast producer, Jacob Kavanis, set to bring you this SPC Winter Championship matchup between the Green Hill Hornets and the Episcopal Knights. Hello, everyone, and welcome. It has been a fantastic week of basketball for the Southwest Preparatory Conference. And we are bringing you the finale here on Flow Sports. The Green Hill Hornets coming in at 21 and seven. Winners of the SPC North in first place in that conference. They were seven and zero in conference play. Take on the Episcopal Knights who are a little bit of a surprise in this championship match. Third in that SPC South and they are on the road on the excuse me on the road to being a big time david in this david versus goliath match 28 and 7 5 and 2 in conference play third in the spc south coached by head coach wayne jones and the head coach for the green hill hornets is joey sims in his eighth seasons this green hill hornets team is coming in hot and i mean red hot they ended the season on a 10 game win streak and are winners of 12 of their last 12 as they blew through the SBC conference tournament. They took out in that first round, well first round they had a bye and then that second round that they played St. Andrews, they took them out 87 to 42, then played St. Mark's in the semifinal round yesterday and took them down 55-46, a little bit of a closer match, but we've got a great one for you here, Episcopal one their first one they out of the four conference the four championship teams boys and girls that we just brought to you here on flow sports that girls championship this episcopal knights boys team is the only team to not have a first round bye and play their way through the entire conference tournament they took out trinity valley 73 37 episcopal school of dallas esd 69 64 and in the semi-final round they won at 63 to 50 over saint Johns, Greenhill, Episcopal, and the SBC Winter Championship. Straight ahead when we come back on Flow Sports, powered by Vibe Live. The crowd buzzing, the stadium buzzing, everybody ready to go and is upbeat and excited about this winter championship, the SPC championship game. The Green Hill Hornets, like I mentioned, have come in red hot, undefeated in conference play. That They began the season, they didn't always start that way because they began the season three and five. They start their first eight games, they lost five. Then they lost two more, and then in the final Excuse me, in the final uh, 12 games, or 20 games, they won 18. 
They haven't lost a game since November when they played in the Dallas Mavs Fall Classic. They lost to John Paul II and Keller. And then to end the season, they went on a 10-game win streak. My goodness, folks, this team can flat out play. A couple of starters, we'll talk about the starters real quick. For the Episcopal Knights, Deshaun Brody, the sophomore. Jaquila Registe, Registe, the sophomore. And then the sophomore, Justin Begg. And a couple of seniors, Jonathan Burrows and Brendan Mwamba. For the Green Hill Hornets, it'll be the leading scorer, Noah Selby, the 6'3 senior with 22.3 points a game. And Lee Dort, wearing that 22 on the back, standing at 6'11, senior averaging 16 points a game. Michael Robinson, the 6'7 sophomore. Francis Chukwudeblu, the 6'7, excuse me, 6'11 freshman from Nigeria. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Green Hill Hornets, Dylan Watt, the 5'7 sophomore. This team can absolutely run, and it's going to be an exciting championship match. And we are just about underway from Trinity Valley. Ethan Herrera with Jacob Gavin is set to bring you today's match. Thanks for joining us on Flow Sports. Jaquil Registe matches up with Lee Dort for the tip off. Referee Anthony Lopez throws it up. Tip goes to Greenhill and let's get this championship match rolling. Michael Robinson. Up to Shelby, Shelby the leading scorer, 22 points a game in the corner is Robinson. He drives baseline, goes quickly, tries to get it up off the glass. Dort right there to clean it up off the glass and he misses, but he's fouled. Lee Dort, the 6'11 senior, will head to the line for the first time and a chance for the first points of the ball game for Greenhill. Dort, 6'11, 16 points a game, 11 and a half rebounds a game and averaging Two and a half blocks as he misses the first. Green Hill wearing their white on white uniforms. Green stripes down the side with green numbers. Episcopal wearing blue on blue with white letters and white numbers. Dort, second free throw. Rattles this one in, one to nothing. First lead belongs to the Hornets from Green Hill. Up the court now goes Justin Begg. Right wing moves it over to middle of the circles. Pass it out to that left wing. That's Mwaba. Back to the top of the key to Deshaun Brody. Brody out to Beg. Beg with Watt on him. Passes the middle. Jump shot from the free throw line is good. Jonathan Burrows with the basket. Up ahead to Dort in that left low block. Dort with one point already on the free throw. Puts it up and gets it swatted away. Pass up ahead, there goes Registe. Going baseline now is Burrows. Burrow pass out. And a jump shot no good, cleared off the board by Francis Chakwude Blue. To the corner is Beg. Robinson, now they bring it to the top of the key to Watt. Out to Shelby, Vanderbilt commit along with his teammate Lee Dort. Top of the key is Shelby. In the middle of the circles. Comes off the screen. Left wing three, too strong. Cleared off the board and picked up. Jaquil Registe went up for it. He got it and there's gonna be a foul called as they pick it off. Coming down the court, here comes Begg. Begg stops from the elbow jumper. The three point shot is good for the left wing. Three points for Justin Begg. Dylan Watt with the top of the key. Working on Begg is him. Out to the right wing is Michael Robinson. Goes baseline, tosses it to Dort, gets swatted away. Dort trying to pick it up and here comes Watt. Watt out to the corner. Chuck with e blue gets it out of there to Shelby. Noah Shelby driving out to the top of the key. Watt gets it swatted away by Registe. And here comes Episcopal. Left wing jumper from the lefty is nothing but the bottom. Deshaun Brody. Eight 
to one the score. Greenhill looking for their first field goal from the baseline. Jump shot, too strong, can't get it to fall. Francis Chuck with D-Blue. Misses, and here comes Episcopal. The Knights, left wing, gets it swatted away. Noah Shelby with a steal. He'll bring it up for the Green Hill Hornets. Eight to one the score, Episcopal. Up ahead to lead door, but gets it swatted away. Dancing around now is Jaquil Regista coming around, and he gets fouled in the open court. Over three minutes off the clock here in the championship round. Eight to one the score. Episcopal with the lead over Greenhill. Episcopal, kind of an underdog in this one. They placed third in the SPC South. 28 and seven on the year, five and two in conference play. Top of the key is Brody. Right elbow goes Registe. Dances out with a man under him and gets fouled. And he'll head to the line. Foul will be on Dylan Watt, the first team foul and his first foul of the ball game. Jaquil Registe at the line for his chance for a point today. Knocks it down. Knight makes it nine to one with 4.44 to go in the first quarter. Nothing but the bottom, two for two goes Jaquil Registe. Robinson has offers from Texas Tech and SMU, but the sophomore has not committed anywhere just yet. Watt from straight away. Rims in and out. Can't get anything to fall of the Green Hill Hornets. Rebound goes to Burroughs. Burroughs out to Registe. He goes into the lane, the floater off the back rim and gets bottled up by Micah Robinson. Green Hill with it on the run. Robinson pulls it back just a bit, double team, and passes that out. Here comes Begg with the left hand and on the fast break. Over the taller defender, Chuck Wadiblu, and a timeout forced by head coach Joey Sims and Green Hill. It's 12 to one with 4.05 to go in the first. Timeout on the floor. You're watching Flow Sports powered by Vipe Live. Coming out of the timeout, 12 to one, Episcopal with the 11 point lead, if my math is correct, folks. 11 point lead over Greenhill in this championship match in the SPC Winter Championship. The Southern Preparatory Conference. Trinity Valley, the home to the soccer conference tournament and the basketball conference tournament. Today, we've got this basketball action for you on Flow Sport, powered by Vipe Live. Green Hill still looking for their first field goal of the game. Lee Dort was one for two at the free throw line. That's how they have that one point. 12 to one the score, under four minutes to go in the first quarter. Shelby tries to get the screen and get it inside. There's Dort, the left low, the right low block and gets it stolen away. Another turnover and takeaway. Baseline jumper too strong. Dort cleans it up. Shot by Burroughs was too strong and it's 12 to one. Dylan Watt, the 5'7 sophomore, by far the shortest player on the court for Greenhill. Top of the key goes Chuck Wadiblo, trying to get it inside, but the whistle blows. During that 10 game win streak that Greenhill had to end the season, their average margin of victory, Jacob, if you're listening, listen to this, their largest or their average margin of victory was 30 points a game which is ridiculous. That shot blocked on the low block. Passing out is Brody. Brody gets it to the corner. Out to Mwaba, the floater does not fall. Trying to get the board is Burroughs and he finally covers the offensive board. They switch it up. Watt try to get the errant pass from Brody on the interception, but couldn't get it to fall and he'll get picked up with a second foul of the game. Ball, 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 
Ryan Sackadin will come in. The 5'10 senior averaging under three points a game and three rebounds. Three point shot from the right wing, no good from Justin Begg. 12 to one the score, three minutes to go in the first. A little bit of sloppy play from Greenhill so far. We'll see if they can clean it up. And just like that, an errant pass from Shelby intended for Ryan Sackaton. Goes out of bounds and the turnover goes to Episcopal. Justin Begg will bring it across the timeline for the Episcopal Knights, 28 and seven on the season. Brody on the right wing. Inside to Nwaba, baseline out to Thompson. Swinging around, look at the ball movement from Episcopal, trying to find some way to get inside. Elbow jumper from the left side, misses everything, and a foul, no, he wanted a foul, but it's out of bounds. Shot from Jaquil Registe, didn't fall. 12 to one, the score remains, with 2.30 left to go in the first quarter. Into the game for the Knights was Braylon Thompson, the sophomore, he works on Noah Shelby, who's in between the circles. Pass out to Sackett, inside the door. Dort gets it swatted away, but a foul. Jaquil Registe has been all over the floor defensively. And Dort, who has the only point of the game so far for Greenhill, will head to the line for a chance to add a couple more to his total. 2.20 on the clock in the first quarter, 12 to one the score in the championship match for the Southwest Preparatory Conference. Dort drops one, makes it a 10 point ball game. Now trying to cut it to single digits with 2.20 on the clock in the first. Dort rattles this one in. And he's got three points. The only three points of the game for Green Hill. 12 to three the score with 2.12 left to go in the first quarter. Out to the left corner. Drops it, Deshaun Brody, his third, his second three-pointer of the ball game so far. 15 to three the score, Episcopal with a nice run to start this one. Out to second, and he brings it into Dort and it gets it swatted away. Dort has had some trouble down low. Active hands in the low block. Possession stays with Greenhill. 15 to three the score, Dort. Left low block and a whistle comes in. I think the foul is gonna be called on Deshaun Brody. Out to Dort, catches it and slams it in. Maybe that'll liven up the Green Hill offense. Dort has all five points of the game for the Green Hill Hornets. From the free throw line, left elbow now from the top of the key. Out from the right wing, here's the shot from Imwaba, misses the rim and rebound grabbed by Sagadin. On the run, nice move off the right hand and in! Ryan Sagadin with a nice play with an hero step on the fast break, it's 15 to seven. Deshaun Brody gets forced into the over and back. Look at the defense and Greenhill is pumped up. 15 to seven the score. Ryan Sackadin on that fast break point, fast break, fast break basket, I should say, has the only points of the game and not by Lee Dort. And a reach-in foul is gonna be called on Justin Begg. His first personal foul. 1.13 on the clock in the first, 15 to seven is the score, Episcopal over Greenhill. And coach Wayne Jones elects to take out Justin Begg and bring in Jaden Holt. Pass inside to Dort. Dort from that left, that right low block. Misses, rebound goes to Episcopal. And here comes Jaden Holt, the freshman. Bringing it up the floor for the Knights. Swings it across, back to Holt. Holt looks right, tries to call out the offense. Here comes Registe, double team, pass inside. And swatted away by Dort, nice block down low. Picked up by Thompson and they reset. Registe trying to go inside, buys his way, finger roll off the glass. And a traveling violation. They get Jaquil Registe.
It's 15 to seven. A lot of action here. Early in this one in the first quarter. 15 to seven is the score. Greenhill down by eight. Has had some struggles offensively to start the game. Driving inside is Michael Robinson and gets fouled on the shot. They'll go to the line for two. It's gonna be on Jonathan Burrows. His first foul of the game and Episcopal sixth, so they're in danger of getting into the bonus early. As Michael Robinson will head to the line for a chance for his first points of the ball game. Robinson puts this one in. I briefly mentioned that Robinson is fielding some offers from Texas Tech University and a Southern Methodist, SMU. And he's just a sophomore, folks, standing at six foot seven. Averaging 13 points a game and 6.2 rebounds on 3.3 assists. Can't get the second one to fall. It stays a seven point ball game, 15 to eight with under 30 to go in the first. Up the court now comes Jaden Holt. Bounce pass to Registe, right elbow jumper with the right hand. It's good, beautiful play and beautiful shot by Jaquil Registe for point number four of the game for him. Robinson out to the corner, three point shot from the right wing and he's fouled. Ryan Sackadin heads to the line for a three point, for three points. The seventh team foul for Episcopal, and they are in the bonus. However, this was on the shot, so it'll be three shot, three free throws for Ryan Sackett, and he can't get the first one to fall. Sackett averaging 2.4 points a game and 2.8 rebounds. The second free throw of the three misses as well. That shot, he was, that foul was called with .3 seconds left to go in the first quarter. The third of third and he misses all three with the tip in. The rebound went to Micah Robinson and missing all three free throws was Ryan Sagadin. And the Green Hill offense got a little bit of energy. Maybe that'll help them out. 70 to eight, the score after the first quarter of play. You're watching Flow Sports powered by Vipe Live. Start of the second quarter, straight ahead, 17 to eight to score, Episcopal over the Green Hill Hornets. Episcopal came out firing defensively as it took them a while for Green Hill to get their first field goal. Registe gets it swatted away by Dort. My goodness. Lee said, get that weak stuff out of here. Registe went up soft and Lee Dort wasn't having it. And the turnover goes to Greenhill. Noah Shelby, he'll bring it across the timeline. To Robinson, down low to Dort, that left low block. Can't get it to fall, rebound goes to Brody. 
30 seconds into the second quarter. Registe behind the back, left elbow jumper, puts it up off the glass and no good. Rebound Dort, pushes ahead to Shelby. Shelby to the right side. Here comes second and off the window and can't get it to fall. Loose ball goes to Beg. Beg across and gets it tipped away. And uh, Jaquil Registe will sit for the first time today. Jonathan Burroughs will check into the ball game. 17 to eight to score as Episcopal has that lead, that nine point lead in this SBC championship game. From that right corner, too strong from Beg. Rebound goes to Dort and Greenhill. Micah Robinson will bring it up. He's got one point in this ball game. There's only been one made field goal. Long three point shot is in. Noah Shelby gets his first three points in the ball game. And cuts it to a six point lead. Out to the corner, swings it to that left wing. Brody to Beg. Too strong. Rebound goes to Shelby. Sackadin inside. Hands it out to Micah Robinson, and Micah Robinson puts it up and in. On the fast break, quickly running. And Braylon Thompson makes it 19 to 13, back to a six point game and bring it up the court now for Greenhill is Noah Shelby. Three points for him. Shelby, the Vanderbilt commit, and there goes Lee Dort going baseline and puts it up and in for two. His fifth point of the ball game. Make it his seventh point of the ball game. He's the game's leading scorer. On that right elbow trying to make something happen was Andrew Michael make it Jonathan Burroughs and he gets fouled. 19 to 15, a four point game. At one point folks, it was 12 to one and Greenhill making a nice strong run right here. 540 and counting in the first half of play from that left wing inside the left corner now. Too strong from Beg, rebound goes to Shelby. Left wing, pull up jumper, too strong. Brody to that right side, gets it tipped away and knocked out of bounds. 19 to 15, a four point ball game and lead for Episcopal. Sackadin will come out and coming in for the Green Hill Hornets is Evan Parker, the 5'8 senior. Jaden Holt brings it up, out to Beg. Beg between the circles, crossover, goes left wing, hands this one out to Brody. Brody back to the top of the key to Burroughs. Burroughs in the baseline, Brody now from the left side, knocks it down. Brody is now three for three from downtown. His third three point make of the half. 22-15 the score as Shelby brings it across. Out to Parker in the corner. Free throw line jumper, too strong, rattles around. Francis Chukwadiblu couldn't get it to fall. 22 to 15 the score, 445 and counting in the first half. Trying to take on the Mount Dort and it wasn't successful. Here comes Robinson, couldn't get that to fall but a rebound goes to Dort and he couldn't handle it. And possession will go to Episcopal. Registe comes back into the ball game. 22-15 the score, Registe, that right elbow, hands it off to Holt who leaves it short. Air ball, picked up, floater now from Holt and he puts it in. Holt with the basket, makes it a nine point game, 24-15 as Shelby brings it up. Chuck with blue out to Shelby now. Noah Shelby from straight away, the three-pointer too strong. Dort trying to fight for it. Him and Burroughs with a little bit of a battle, but possession goes to Episcopal as the referee says it was off of Dort. 24-15 to score, Holt bringing it up the court for Episcopal. Right elbow jumper, free throw line right extended, drops it, dropping it down is Deshaun Brody, who's got 11 points. 
340 and counting left to go in the first half of play. 26 to 15 the score. Greenhill, nine point deficit, making an 11 point deficit. Out to Parker on that right corner. Drives inside, now retreats. Throws it up, but they're gonna call a travel on Parker. Another turnover for Greenhill. And I'm telling you folks, Coach Joey Sims does not look happy on that sideline whatsoever. With all the turnovers his Hornets team is facing. Here goes Brody once again. This time, finally misses the shot from that right elbow jumper. And rebound goes to Greenhill, 26-15, 3-15 and counting. Up ahead to Dort, who tried to fly high but couldn't corral in that pass from Shelby. Holt on the baseline now, trying to get out of trouble. The shot from Beck from the right wing, no good. Cleaned up by Chuck with Eblu. Micah Robinson now, the six foot sophomore, brings it up the court for Greenhill. Hand off to Shelby. Shelby with Begg working on him. Pass out to Parker on the baseline. Parker out to Chuck Wadiblu. The three point shot, nothing but the bottom. Chuck Wadiblu, his first three points of the ball game. 26 18, the score, a pistol with the lead. Registe gets called with the travel, and he's not happy about that one. Turnover goes to Greenhill. Twenty-six, eighteen, the score with two thirty-one left to go in the first half of play. Micah Robinson, three points in the ball game. He brings it up the court for Greenhill. He gets double team. The trap out to Dort. Dort with some space. Dort with the left hand off the glass and in. Lee Dort, count it. With the foul shot coming and a chance for a three-point play. For the time being, it's 26 to 20 with 2.16 to go in the first half. Dort has been to the line a couple of times already today. This time, it buries it. And he's got 10 in the ball game, folks. The leading score for Green Hill, 26-21 the score. Episcopal trails. Out on the left wing is Burroughs. Steps through, Dort disrupting it all. And Dort comes up with a big play as Shelby corrals the loose ball. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Robinson in that high left wing. Shelby sets the screen. He gets the switch on to Registe. Robinson. Goes baseline, that left side with the right hand, puts it up and puts it in. Robinson makes it a three point game. It hasn't been this close since the first few seconds of the first quarter. Minute and a half left to go in the first half. Burroughs with it outside, top of the key. Working inside, pass to the corner to Beg. Beg going baseline, step back jumper, no, passes it out. Rose at the top of the key, working inside on Chuck Wadiblo. Now they pull it out. Here comes Holt. Holt with a screen from Registe on the right side. Top of the key, out to Registe. Left wing, goes inside. Left elbow jumper, no good. Loose ball corralled by Robinson, and he's on the run. One minute left to go in the first half. Puts it up, leaves it short. Rebound goes to Registe, and that, that's Episcopal. Driving inside and gets fouled by Sackadin. And the crowd doesn't like that. And what a crowd it is. I'm telling you folks, this student section for Green Hill has definitely filled out. They're from Addison, Texas, not too far from Fort Worth, maybe about an hour drive for them, and they've definitely come to support their Hornets. 26-23 the score. And a timeout will be called. 26-23 is the score. We'll take a short break as well. Back in a moment on Flow Sports, powered by Vibe Live.
Coming out of the timeout, 26-23, a three-point ball game. It was 12-1. It was a 12-1 run for Episcopal to start the ball game. And then falling all the way back into it is Greenhill with 54 seconds left to go on the first half of play. Inbound from Brody coming for Episcopal. Brody trying to find a place. Puts it up. Gets it out to Mwaba. And Mwaba will play it out to Justin Begg. The sophomore's got five points. They take it back to Mwaba. It looks like they're going to try to hold for that last shot of the half. I don't know if they can wait it out 40 seconds, but they're definitely going to try. And Mwaba driving in out to Begg, and they'll reset. Sack it in on him. Begg. Gets it to Deshaun Brody. He's got 11, the leading scorer in the game for both teams and the leading scorer for Episcopal. 20 seconds left, 26-23. Shelby on Holt. Holt goes to the circles. Now he's at the left wing, back to the top of the key. 13 seconds to go. They're going to play for this last shot. Episcopal, the Knights, holding for it. Seven seconds. Holt gets it thrown away by Shelby. Chuck Udibu picks it up. Here comes Holt. Two seconds left. Holt at the top. Registe up and it's in! It's in! No call from the referee yet. They said he didn't get it off in time. And it'll stay a 26-23 ball game. Heading into the half, Episcopal with a slight lead after being up by 11 at one point over the Green Hill Hornets. What an exciting Southwest Preparatory Conference Championship match we've got going. Halftime here from Trinity Valley, 26-23, the halftime score. You're listening to Flow Sports, powered by Vipe Live.
second half of this SBC Winter Championship for boys basketball is straight ahead. It has been an exciting one tonight, folks. 26-23. And the Episcopal Knights have that three-point lead over the Green Hill Hornets who come into this tournament and this game extremely hot. I mentioned it before in the broadcast, 10-game winning streak to end the season for the Green Hill Hornets who had an average margin of victory of 30 points. Then they won their two games after they had the bye week. The second round, they played St. Andrews and won 87 to 42. They played St. Mark's and won that one 55 to 46 in the semifinal round. And Green Hill gets the ball to start the second half. Chuck Wadiblo trying to get inside to lead Dort, passed up an open three point shot and Episcopal with another takeaway. Another turnover for Green Hill. And they have 100% Turn the ball over too much in that first half. Three point game, 30 seconds off the clock in the second quarter. Driving inside goes Mwaba. He pulls it out, out to Brody who's been fantastic and a foul is gonna be called. It's gonna be called on Chuck Woody Blue. Brody the inbounder, out to Beg. Bang in that left corner, goes baseline, puts it up in the cradle, puts it up off the glass with the right hand and in. And 28 to 23 is the score with 7.20 to go in the third quarter. Shelby bringing it up, Shelby with three points. The leading scorer who averages 22, puts this one up from deep and on cue. Noah Shelby with his second three pointer of the game, his second made field goal, he's got six points, making it a two point game. High floater off the rim, does not fall from Beg and wrap that one up is Shelby. Grabs the carom and brings it up. 28-26 the score. Out to the corner, Chuck Wadiblo puts it inside. Stolen by Brody, Deshaun Brody and bringing it up is Justin Beg. Out to the corner on the left side, Burrows rattles in and out. Rebound goes to Micah Robinson. Shelby for Greenhill to lead Dort. He's got 10 points. Passes it out to Shelby. Shelby from 30 feet away and knocks it down. From long range. And for the first time today, Greenhill has the lead. 29 28, the Hornets. Inside and a turnover. No, they're saying it was off of Greenhill. They changed their mind, Green Hill possession. Noah Shelby, back-to-back -back three point shots. We'll see what he has in store. Folks, he scores 22 points a game. Sagadin has it in the left wing. Shelby between the circles, out to Sagadin. On the baseline in the corner. Ford Lee Dort, he goes inside. The big body puts it off the rim, leaves it short, gets his rebound and puts it up and in. Lee Dort, so active on the boards. And a chance for a three point play and extend the lead. Dort, too strong. 31 to 28 the score, Episcopal down by three. Justin Beck inside, high off the glass, too strong. Rebound goes to Dort and Greenhill, Shelby. Pushes up ahead to Robinson. Michael Robinson cuts through the defense. The reverse layup off the rim and no good. In the open space, off the left window and no good. And a foul is gonna be called on Ryan Sackadon. Jonathan Burrows went on the run. I beg your pardon, Brendan Mwaba, the senior, had an open basket and he'll head to the line for two after the foul from Ryan Sackadon. Free throw from Inwaba is good, and he gets on the board with his first point of the game, making it a two-point match. 31-29, 5.26 to go. At the line, Inwaba knocks down both. Two points for him. Shelby will bring it up. It's a one-point game, 31-30. to Inwaba working on him. Robinson pushes it ahead to Sackadon. In the corner is Dort. Make it Chuck Wadiblo. Dort puts it in! 
slams it down. Back to a three-point game, 33 to 30. That one had a little bit of extra oomph behind it. Bag at the top of the key, sacking in on him. Inside goes Registe and swatted away by Dort. He has been so active today as he's got 14 points. Now has it in the corner on the baseline. Noah Shelby with a little space in the corner. Too strong, rebound by Chuck with Deep Blue and a foul. The foul is gonna be called on Deshaun Brody. And Chuck Wadiblu, the 6'11 freshman, heads the line, knocks down his first, and he's got four points. He averages 5.7 points per game, 6.4 boards, and 1.4 assists as he's two for two at the line. Chuck Wadiblu from Nigeria, just a freshman. Brody in the corner, tosses it out to the wing to beg. Top of the key, Registe swings it around to Mwaba. And replacing him is Begg. Second in working on him, hand off to Registe, and he slips. Wet spot on the court. And a turnover by Episcopal, 35 to 30 the score. Micah Robinson, top of the key, Burroughs working on him. 408 and counting. Sagadin inside of Chuck Wadiblo. The give and go gets swatted away by Brody. Brody down that left sideline. Will wait. Beg in the corner now. Under four minutes to go in the third quarter. 35 to 30 the score. Oh, and here comes Registe. Throwing it down with some extra sauce. 35-32 in a three-point game as Episcopal trying to fight to stay in it. 3.47 on the clock. You're watching Flow Sports powered by Vipe Live. Coming out of the timeout, 35-32, Green Hill with the lead. Folks, it was 12-1, Episcopal, to start the ball game. They went on that 12-1 run, and clawing their way back into it were the Hornets. And speaking of the Hornets, the Green Hill Hornet student section is absolutely buzzing. Every time that there is a mistake by Episcopal, they're definitely letting them know. 3.45 on the clock in the third quarter, 35-32 the score. Noah Shelby will bring it off the top. He's got nine points, all made three-pointers. Sagadin on that right wing, hands it off to Micah Robinson. Robinson with Registe working on him. He picked up his dribble and Sagadin picks it up at the top of the key. Pass inside to Dort and here comes Brody swatting it away. Not a great entry pass by Sagadin. Out of bounds, Greenhill has it, 3.24 to go. Third quarter, 35-32. Registe inside of Chuck Wadiblu, back outside of Noah Shelby. Left wing, three-point shot, and it's good! Fourth triple of the ball game for Noah Shelby. 3.13 on the clock in counting here in the third quarter, 38-32. Largest lead of the ball game for the Green Hill Hornets. That's six. Justin Begg, kick outside. Here goes Burroughs. Jonathan Burroughs from the corner, buries it. His fifth point of the ball game, folks. 38-35, and Episcopal is not going away. Under three minutes to go in the third. 
Sagadin, left wing, corner now, Chuck with Eblu. Inside a lead, Dort. Takes the entry pass, puts up the baby hook. No good, gets his own rebound and swatted away. Nice play by Registe. Inside is Brody, to the corner. Going baseline now is Mwaba. To the corner now on the other side is Burroughs and can't get it to go and a lot of bodies on the ground. But an offensive rebound for Episcopal. Mwaba driving inside off the glass and no good, but there is a foul being called. With 2.21 on the clock. Lee Dort will get caught with his first personal foul, and that's kind of a feat, folks, as he is a post player down low, being extremely active, and he's getting his first personal foul with 2.21 to go in the third. Mwaba puts it up and in. Mwaba with three points all by way of the free throw line. Makes it a two-point game, 38-36, trying to cut it to one. And whistle come in, and there was a lane violation. Lane violation by one of the Episcopal Knights, so it stays a 38-36 game with 2.20 to go in the third. What a championship match we've got for you here. Zagadin, top of the key. Approaching two minutes to go in the third quarter. Hands it off to Noah Shelby with Thompson working on him. Mega picks him up. Cross court pass, switches it up. There goes Robinson in the lane, loses control out of bounds. Episcopal ball, 38 36, another turnover for Greenhill. Meg bringing it up the court for Episcopal. Hands it off to Registe. Pass out to the corner is Burroughs. Burroughs with Robinson on him. Can't break him down and passes back out. Justin Begg now wants it. He wants Rackenham, Sackett, excuse me, Sackett it all by himself. Begg on that right wing. Calls for the screen. Pass out to Registe and hits nothing but the bottom. Ties it up at 38 of all. Registe with six points. 115 and counting in the third quarter. Michael Robinson inside on Registe. Paint shot is no good, but a foul will be called on a Jaquiel Registe. His second personal foul, folks. As Michael Robinson will head to the line. He's got five points as he averages 13.1 a game. First one in and out, and he couldn't believe it. A sophomore standing at six foot seven, holds offers from Texas Tech University and SMU. Second free throw, hits the bottom, he's got six. And he gives the lead to Greenhill by one, 39-38 with a minute to go in the third. Begg brings it up the court, top of the key for Brody. Out to the left side, Burroughs catches and fires, too strong, rebound goes to Chuck Wadiblu. Sack it in. Plays it back to Robinson, and the freshman, making the sophomore, brings it up the court. Under a minute to go. Here comes Robinson. Stops inside of Dort. Dort couldn't handle it. He picks it up and throws it down. Lee Dort with 16 points today. Leading all scores and gives Greenhill the three-point lead with 30 seconds to go in the third. We saw this at the end of the half where Episcopal held it with about 40 seconds left. They picked it up with a good 33 seconds to go and is gonna hold it for the last shot. Begg dribbling around near that left wing. 13 seconds, 12 seconds, he's gotta go. 10 seconds, finally gonna make the move. Goes in between the circles, still far out there. Seven seconds, six seconds. Step back, here goes Begg. Out to the far side, Registe off the window, no good, rebound Dort. And that is how the third quarter will end. 41-38, Greenhill with a three-point lead over Episcopal in the SBC Winter Championship match. Fourth quarter, straight ahead and coming your way on Flow Sports, powered by Vibe Live.
Well, folks, here it is, the final period for the whole shebang. Eight minutes till they crown a champion of the Southwest Preparatory Conference. And for the time being, Greenhill has that slim three-point lead over Episcopal, who has been feisty. 41-38 to score. Going quickly. Registe through the lane, the right hand off the glass and in. 41 to 40. Registe with his eighth point of the ball game. Michael Robinson with it. He's ran a little bit more point in the second half than he did in the first. Noah Shelby providing that screen for him. And Thompson gets called with a foul. Tried to reach in on him. And did it, didn't get him clean. The leading scorer in the game is Lee Dort, who's got 16. He's that Vanderbilt commit along with Noah Shelby, both four-star recruits, folks. They are nothing but amazing out on the court today. I mean, they've been fantastic. Chuck Wadiblu, left wing three, drains it. Eight points for Chuck Wadiblu as he gives Greenhill a 44 to 40 lead. Justin Begg with sacking it on him. Screen from Magiste. Free throw line jumper straight away. Too strong. Rebound goes to Thompson. Begg gets it right back straight away. Three point shot. That one hits. Back to back three point shots from both squads. It may be sunny outside, but it's raining threes here inside Trinity Valley. 44-43, we've got a great one for you folks. Chukwadiblu, pass inside. And Lee Dort. Looked like he wanted to argue that he was... He wanted to argue that his arm was being held. But it goes out of bounds, turnover goes to Episcopal, 44-43. Justin Begg inside, wide open corner three from Burroughs, too strong, Jonathan couldn't hit it. And a fight for the ball goes out of bounds off of Justin Begg. And it's a one point ball game, Green Hill takes possession, 44-43, 6-11 to go in the match. Green Hill had been hot to start the game, to start the, or to start the, uh, the playoffs. 10 game winning streak to end the season. To start the season, they were three and five as Michael Robinson, Corrals the loose ball, puts it up off the glass and in with the left hand. Robinson with eight points now. They've been spreading the love offensively, the Green Hill Hornets, and it's 46 to 43. A chance to tie or cut it to one for Episcopal. And a carry being called by referee Anthony Lopez. And a turnover, ball goes to Green Hill as Justin Begg got a little bit too carried away. Pun intended, folks. 46-43, five and a half to go in the match. Across the timeline goes Sagadin. Micah Robinson, far left wing. Drives inside, elbow, now pulls it out. Registe on him, goes inside the paint, jumps around, and the floater, no good as he was fouled. Sean Brody gets caught with a foul. And Michael Robinson will head to the line. He's got eight points tonight, folks. Trying to extend it to a two possession ball game. And can't hit again. He is two for now, five at the line tonight, folks. 46-43, trying to make it 47-43. Robinson puts it up and puts it in. Makes it a nine point game, excuse me, nine points for Robinson, makes it a four point game, a 5.20 on the clock. And a 47-43 lead for Greenhill. Coming down the home stretch, you've been watching the SBC Winter Championship. 
on Flow Sports, presented by Vipe Live. Coming out of the timeout, 47-43 with 5.20 to go in the fourth quarter of the SPC Winter Championship match for the Southwest Preparatory Conference. And Greenhill has the three-point lead or the four-point lead. Episcopal went on a 12-1 run to start the ball game and slowly but Obviously, surely Greenhill clawed their way back into it. And now has the four point lead. Justin Begg will bring it up the floor for the Episcopal Knights. Sacking and working on him for Greenville. Registe, top of the key. Step back jumper from three point range. Too strong. And gets cleaned up by Lee Dort. Five minutes to go. 47 43. What a game we've got going on from Trinity Valley, folks. Ethan Herrera with Jacob Cavanis, our broadcast engineer. Thank you for joining us. Inside the lead door, left low block, good move. Goes through the powering harm and puts it in. Dort with 18 points, 49, 43, four and a half to go. Justin Begg in the left wing, gets the screen from Ajiste. Powers around to Sakadin, right wing, pump fake, Imwaba. Out to the left wing, Brody too strong. He's been hot, but not that time. And it goes off of Dort, out of bounds, so it'll stay right here, Episcopal ball, 49-43 with 4.26 to go. Inbound from Brody to Registe in the corner, out to Mwaba, all alone, left wing three, misses left, rebound goes to Dort. Grabs the carom, but the... Shelby tried to get it to Robinson, went out of bounds right by his face. So a turnover will stay right here for Episcopal. 4.17 to go in the fourth quarter, 49-43. The student section getting rowdier and rowdier every single time Greenhill has done some sort of good and any time Episcopal has uh, made a mistake. Definitely a true student section. Noah Shelby, the leading scorer for this Green Hill team coming in at 22.3 points a game, has 12. All have been made three-pointers. Four for him. Lee Dort leads the scoring with 18 points. That's his future teammate up at Vanderbilt. They're both, they have both accepted offers from the Van Vanderbilt Commodores. Micah Robinson, he's got nine points. And Chuck Wadiblu has eight points of his own, two three-pointers made and two free throws. And that has been the entire scoring, all the scoring, the 49 points for the Hornets have all come from four players. Minus two, I'm gonna correct myself, minus two of those points. A basket belongs to the 5'10 senior Ryan Sackadin, who's played a lot of minutes. He has helped the team in so many other ways other than putting the ball in the basket. And he's a big reason why this team is up 49-43 with 4.14 to go, 4.17 to go in the fourth quarter. We'll see if Episcopal can make this final run. Registe with eight points, Brody with 11. Eight points for Justin Begg as well. Inbound goes to the backcourt, and Justin Begg will bring it up. Approaching four minutes to go left in this ball game. Thompson on that right wing, looking for Begg between the circles. Doesn't use the screen set by Registe, and now uses it, cuts back to the other side, out to the corner. Imwaba, baseline, out to Registe in the left wing. Brody 
Top of the key, they're switching it all around. Beg from that right wing, puts it up. Short and cleared off the glass by Dort. He has been fantastic. I don't have re rebound numbers, folks, but my goodness, he's got to be well into the double digits. 49-43 with three and a half to go. Micah Robinson trying to work on Registe, top of the key. The screen from Shelby. He picks up his dribble, but it was tipped away. Baseline, Robinson, Chuck with blue. And a offensive foul is gonna be called on Michael Robinson. And the crowd doesn't like that one. 49-43, turnover, so possession goes to Episcopal. The Knights down by six with 3.15 to go in this championship game. Got to make a little bit of a push now. They've gotten just a bit cold. Top of the key goes Justin Begg to that right elbow. Pass outside, but no one was there. He might have been looking for Nwaba, but as soon as he passed it to the corner, Nwaba went for the wing. Turnover right back to Greenhill with under three minutes to go. 49-43, Noah Shelby. The Vanderbilt commit and four-star recruit. Pass out to the corner to Sackadin. Inside to Dort, Dort fighting all around. The baby hook, no good, but he puts his own miss up and in. Dort with 20 points. Beg, step back, right wing. Pass out to the top of the key to Registe. Beg in the corner, goes baseline. Reverse layup off the window, bounces up and bounces in. Nice play by Justin Begg to stop the bleeding. He's got 10. 51 to 45, six point game and a foul is gonna be called on Justin Begg. The next foul for Episcopal will put Greenhill into the bonus. 51 45, 216 to go in the fourth quarter. Greenhill trying to hold on to that six point lead. Inside, Micah Robinson has a lane off the glass, can't get it to fall, gets his own miss, goes baseline, swatted away, and out of bounds. Deshaun Brody, that's not the first time that an offensive rebound, an offensive rebounder has had their ball swatted by Deshaun Brody. It goes out of bounds and with 2.09 left to go in the fourth quarter of this championship game, the Green Hill Hornets lead it 51 to 45 over the Episcopal Knights here from Trinity Valley. Full time out on the floor, so we'll be right back. You've been watching Flow Sports powered by Vipe Live. Coming out of the timeout now, 2.09 on the clock in the fourth quarter, 21 and make it 51 to 45 the score. Green Hill with the lead, the six point lead over Episcopal who started out strong and now gone just a bit cold offensively. Michael Robinson, far right wing and now back to him, top of the key. Two minutes left here in this championship game. Robinson with Begg working on him. Gets the screen from Shelby, they switch on him. Lead Dort in this near right corner and Trying to play some good defense, and actually playing good defense, I should say. Justin Begg 
With a minute 50 left to go, Episcopal needs a stop and they've got to make a run if they want to get back in it. 51 to 45 is the score to six point game. Inside the lead, Dort, and a foul is going to be called on Shaquille Registe. And I was mistaken earlier, folks. It was only five team fouls, not six on Episcopal. So Michael Robinson will inbound from the baseline. Robinson to Dort. Right low block. One dribble. Baby hook the left side over two defenders. And rebound goes to Episcopal. And Registe. Registe picks it up. Spins around. All the way down the floor. Puts it up and in. But a foul was called on the floor. And everybody who is going for Greenhill is beside themselves saying that Registe picked it up and walked with it. But there's a foul on the floor, 16 fouls for both sides, 51 to 45 with a minute 36 left to go. Episcopal down, Justin Begg in that right corner. Brings it out. Burroughs sets the screen, he drives inside. Burroughs gets the pass, puts it up off the window and in. Burroughs with his third basket of the ball game, he's got seven points. 51-47 the score with a minute 20 to go. And a foul is going to be called once again on Shaquille Registe, his fourth. And heading back to the line is Micah Robinson, who has struggled just a little bit at the line tonight, 51 to 47. This time, knocks down the first of the one and one. And that gives him Puts him in double digits, 10 points for Micah Robinson. Robinson, the second shot of the one and one, it goes in, so he's got 11 and makes it a six point game, 53-47. Top of the key, three point shot, Justin Begg. Gold blooded. Cuts the deficit in half and forces a timeout from Joey Sims. 53 to 50 with 109 on the clock. Ice cold water in the veins of Justin Begg. And with just over a minute to go, a huge shot when Episcopal needed it. The Knights still with that three point lead, excuse me, the Hornets with that three point lead from Greenhill. Greenhill ranked number eight in the Dallas area with 5A schools. That's including public schools, not just preparatory schools, folks. And Greenhill, the Hornets have not won a conference championship since 1999. They won, they've won the title twice though in that 99 season, the 98-99 season. And the first time they ever did it was back in 1975 and 1976. And this crowd can feel it coming. Episcopal not going away. 53 to 50 is the score. And with a minute nine on the clock. Oh, we're in for a special one, folks. I can feel it. From Trinity Valley. Final stretch of the boys' championship, the SPC championship. Dort gets it into Robinson. Robinson with Thompson working on him. Full court pressure from Brenton Thompson. My goodness. It was a struggle just to get it in. Lee Dort in that low block and they foul him. Jonathan Burroughs takes that foul. And Lee Dort, who's got 20 points, will stand at the charity stripe to make it a two possession game. Dort. First one. Can't get it to go. The one and one's missed. It's a three point ball game. 55 seconds to go. 53 to 50. Justin Begg 
Top of the key, fires for straight away, knocks it down! Oh my goodness! Justin Begg, that's showbiz, baby! Back-to-back -back three point shots, ties it up with 34 seconds to go! And a timeout by Coach Joey Shit Sims. I don't believe it. Hits the first three point shot to cut the deficit in half at three, and then comes back with two defenders right in his face. And he says, No doubt about it. We're tied at 53 with 33 seconds to go. What? An absolute championship match for the ages. Episcopal on the verge of taking down the number one seed. They were third, third in just their conference, folks. What a huge night for Justin Begg. He's got 16 points on two huge back-to-back -back three point shots. With a tie ball game now, we'll see what Greenhill does. Coach Joey Sims handing out the play. We'll see if they hold for the last shot or try to score quickly. They double Michael Robinson, can't get it in. He fell down. Chuck Wadiblu on that right wing, the left wing. Stands with it. 28 seconds to go. Michael Robinson finally gets it with Jaquil Registe on him. All alone. Inside. Robinson has some space. Can't get it to go. Rebound door gets hacked. 17 and a half seconds to go. And Lee Dort headed to the line to give Greenhill the lead. And Registe gets his fifth foul, and he's out of the ball game. He leaves with eight points and a fantastic game, as Braylon Thompson will check in for him. Thompson, Brody, Burroughs, and Waba, and Begg out on the court for Episcopal. At the line is Lee Dort, the first. Knocks it down and gives Greenhill the lead. 54-53 and the crowd goes crazy. Dort trying to extend it to two points, forcing Episcopal to make at least a two pointer to tie. The second of the free throws. Strong, but it's in. 55-53, 17 and a half to go and a timeout on the floor. My goodness. Could you ask for a better championship game? That was rhetorical, folks. The answer is no. It has been exciting, and it has been one of the best basketball games in preparatory, at the preparatory level that I've seen. The crowd going crazy. Episcopal giving it right back to the Green Hill student section. This is what it's all about, folks. I'm telling you. Well, the stage is set. 55 for the Green Hill Hornets, 53 for the Episcopal Knights. 17 and a half seconds to go. Green Hill looking for their first conference championship since 1999. And Episcopal trying to play David in this David and Goliath matchup. Episcopal will bring it in. And it's in Waba. 13. 12 seconds, 11 seconds, they give it out to Begg. Begg on that right wing, step back, all alone, right corner, he's got it, he's got it! Justin Begg, they get it in quickly! Full court shot from Shelby, and it's no good, and Justin Begg hits the game winning shot! My goodness, I don't believe it! I don't believe it!
They storm the court as they should. As Justin Begg has nine straight points on three straight three-point shots. A step back. And the Episcopal Knights take down the Green Hill Hornets, 56 to 55. Justin Begg, the hero. I mean, I don't know what else to say. That kid has been special. What an absolute history book finish. Three straight three-point shots and Justin Begg delivers a Southwest Preparatory Conference Championship for the Episcopal Knights. Wow, ridiculous. He had a step back three in that far right corner. Over the defender. With about four seconds to go, they inbounded quickly. There was no timeouts left for Greenhill. So they couldn't stop the clock. And actually, the half court heave from Noah Shelby rimmed out. And I don't believe what I just saw from Justin Begg. He finishes with 19 points. If, if we could the court, with so 11 all happening in the fourth quarter. Let's not take anything away from what the Green Hill Hornets have done this season and what the Hornets have done in this championship match. Noah Shelby finishes with 12 points. Lee Dort finishes with 20. Robinson with 11. Francis Chukwadibu finishes with eight. And Ryan Sackadon with two. The Episcopal Knights went on a 12 to one run to start the game. And then Greenhill fought their way back to lead by as many as eight. And then they led by six with under a minute to go. And it was three point, three straight three point shots from Justin Begg to absolutely deliver the dagger. We'll hear from the commissioner. Reno had that first round bye, beat St. Andrews 87-42, and then faced St. Mark's in the semifinal 55-46. Jones. What an absolute ridiculous ending to a ridiculous game and a crazy season for the Episcopal School at Houston Knights. And what else can be said? That's what it's all about, folks. They take home the conference championship, the Southwest Preparatory Conference Championship, as they went through. The, they were the only team of the final four, the two boys basketball teams in the championship and the two girls basketball teams in the championship. Out of those four teams, they were the only team to have to play the first round and not have that first round bye. They took out Trinity Valley, the hometown team.
73 to 37. In the second round, they faced ESD. That's Episcopal School of Dallas. 69-64, they took them out. Then they faced St. John's, the number one seed. And they beat them by 13, 63 to 50. And now, in the championship match, took out one of the hottest teams in Texas. 56 to 55, all thanks to the buzzing, buzzer beating dagger from Justin Begg. He was their knight in shining armor. And it, I'm, I'm telling you folks, this was one of the best games I have ever seen. And one of the best final runs by any one player. And Justin Begg's name will go down in history for this Episcopal Knights team. Wow. From Trinity Valley in Fort Worth for Jacob Cavanis, our brilliant broadcast engineer. I'm Ethan Herrera for Flow Sports, powered by Vibe Live, saying thank you and good night.